One of the most important things in New York is fashion. Garmin District is where they make the clothes. New York is home to many famous fashion brands. There are so many steps. It's so fun making clothes. I hope I get to have my own fashion line, line one day. What would I call it? Maybe just use my name, Madison Bond. We went to the Garmin District to see the factories in action. It's top secret, so I can't even show you what I saw. But let me just tell you, wow, it, it was so cool. I was invited to the Angora Group. They help people make their own fashion lines. Hi Madison, I'm Becca. I work for a company called the Angora Group, and what we do is consulting in fashion. So when somebody wants to start a new line, or start a new category, or they want to move to another factory, change their strategy, we help them figure out how to do that. So you come to us with an idea, and we're going to find you all the fabric and all of the buttons, help you figure out how to make it fit well, and then we'll help you figure out where you're going to make it until you have that final product, that shirt. <laughs> There's a long history of fashion in New York. Is New York the only place you do fashion? New York is not the only place we do fashion. It happens all over the world and even all over the country. So we work with people all over who have different specialties. But New York is really known as a hub because it's where all the new art and the innovation and that high fashion thing people come to see. So they come to New York, Paris, and Tokyo, and Italy. People come to America to find a new life. When they see the Statue of Liberty, they know it's a new beginning. And they bring with them special skills, like sewing. There's a rich immigrant history to New York, and lots of people who came here were really good at sewing, so they would, you know, carry that trait with them. So even this, this building that we're in used to be a factory a long time ago. The Angora Group are fashion consultants. Uh, what is fashion? So, fashion is the clothes that you wear, but it's also about how you express yourself, right? So, I can tell that you like mermaids because you have on a mermaid necklace, and you get to feel like you can express that identity. You're like, I really like mermaids, and there's no mermaid shirts out there that I like. Let's make a mermaid shirt line, right? Come to us and we say, cool, let's make a mermaid shirt. What's a mermaid shirt mean? Does that mean it has lots of sparkles? Does that mean it has seashells? Maybe we want to use recycled plastic bottles to help make it because it has to do with the ocean. You know, we can find all different ways to interpret that and you can decide, oh, this is what it is that I'm trying to say. And then we help you find a physical way to say it. Designers are the ones who really lead the process. And the designer is going to lead the conversation about what the creative direction is it's going to go in. But it is a lot of people who have to agree on things. Maybe the designer wants something too expensive and so the person who's doing the material says, oh, we should do it with this. And then um, it's, it's a lot of different people who have to agree. I need a fashion consultant. They'll do a first pass at it and send it. And then we have what's called a fit model come in and the fit model puts it on. Oh, looks a little funny. Let's, let's raise it a little here. Let's change, you know, what the stitching is over there. And then we tell the factory that and they make the changes and they send it back until it's just right. Becca taught me all about the process. So here at the office, we can figure out the design and we can figure out what materials we're gonna use and all parts of the process and where we're gonna make it. When you're a fashion designer, you need to make a You'll develop a lot of things at once, and then you look at them as they're going through and you decide. Sometimes we're gonna do what's called dropping a style to get down to what you actually wanna produce. We got to drop that style. So if we were making these, what we do is, well first we choose the fabrics we like, right? These are jeans. Oh, those are jeans. We're gonna have to go get some denim. You wanna maybe look through some of this pretty yeah. fabric we have to see if there's something you like. Is there anything velvet? Yeah? Okay, so you want to maybe do the shirt in velvet? Yeah. Okay. And do you like that velvet more, or you like this velvet? Um, or maybe this one? There's all yeah, kinds. Yeah, I was looking at that one. You like that one? Yeah, this one I really like. 
That's your favorite? Yeah. Really so what we're gonna do, you take that. We're gonna pin your picture on the board. And then we say, okay, that top's gonna be made in this material, right? Yeah. And the pants? Pants, um, you put everything on it that you might like. That one you could do is pant. Yeah. And it's got a nice pattern on it. Yeah. Okay, so let's put that on the board. You pick the material, the color, the trim, Everything. Um, maybe this? This one? You want to do it in a light pink? Yeah. Oh, this. Is this the pants? Yeah. Okay. I think that's the So then we make a color cement. We'd send it to the people who make this fabric so they can make it in the colors you want. And then they'd send us a strike off in those colors. And then we'd approve it and we'd order a bunch so we could make some samples in the right colors. So then we choose the right thread for that. And that's kind of all the pieces you put in place and you can throw them up on the board and then you can move those around because you've got a bunch of different pieces and then you order it and you make them like, see what happens like this kind of yeah like that type of pink do you know there's this many kinds of denim all different washes and this is just a little bit but they're from all over the world there used to be a lot of cone denim in the south in the United States, too. Maybe we'll find some from there. Oh, maybe make it shorts like a beach day. Perfect. Do you want to make it shorts? Yeah. See, and we'll, that's part we'll of it. We'll make this shorts, and then since I already have the t-shirt, we'll make that the t-shirt. So, we Okay, we'll go. Where you want the shorts to hit there? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to make shorts. jeans. It's got a little stretch to it. That's nice. Yeah. All right, I guess we're just missing our top. And what do you think it feels like? Is it stretchy? Is it soft? Is it like a t-shirt? Is it, is it like my dress? Yeah, kind of like that. Like this? Yeah. Okay. What else we would do is we would get post-its so we could make a note about what we like about it and what we want to change. We can never have too many post-its. <laughs> Okay, I think that's a pretty good design. I hope I get to have my own fashion line, line one day.